what's the difference between recession and depression? Oh, depression sige. ba yung malungkot kapag ano? Nakipag- Ay, hindi, hindi. Girlfriend, hindi. Gano? Hi everyone, kamusta? So it's me and Marion again for another episode here at Wealth Archie. So ngayon yung episode natin ay very special dahil may nagtanong sa emails natin tungkol hmm. sa isang article about global depression and ano ba yung impact nito sa atin, sa Philippines and sa world economy. So right. while sh- sh- share ko yung screen ko, no? Hmm. Dahil ano tayo, high-tech tayo, no? <laughs> so, nakikita ba yung screen? So, the, okay. so the article is saying, so, so ito yung title, The next global depression is coming and optimism won't slow it down. So, this is written by Ian Bremer, a foreknown political economist in the US, and it discusses about uh, global depression, its lingering effects, and it also discusses previous recessions and depressions that occurred no not only in the US but globally and sinasabi lang ng article na it's probably a long term effect yung na experience natin ngayon simply because the global depression or recession that we're experiencing now is challenging norms and systems that have been in place for the past 90 years so yun Mm. So, yun yung topic natin. So, ano yung mga hashtag your thoughts natin ngayon, Marion? <laughs> Oo, oh, siguro thoughts, yung mga thoughts your thoughts na yan. Oh, so, galing pala, ano din to, no? na-raise din to nung isang uh, viewer client natin, no? uh, si mm. Mr. Randwin, about ito, um, mm. depression. Shout no? Shout out yeah, sa kanya. <laughs> shout out to Mr. Randwin. Oh. So, siguro, Adriel, um, dahil ikaw si mm. Mr. Economista, no? simulan muna natin, what's the difference between recession and depression? Oh, depression sige. ba yung malungkot kapag ano, nakipag- Ay, hindi, hindi. hindi. Yun, yung mga ganyan, na, mga ganyan, I think, kailangan na ng psychologist, psychiatrist, dahil that's beyond our sphere of influence already. <laughs> But, iba pala. Oh, sige. Iba, iba yung mental health issues but that's a different time but yun nga, ano ba yung difference ng economic recession and economic depression um, yung economic recession is actually just a short short term downturn so mga two quarters, three quarters no. so it's actually just limited in a locality or within a country no. yung depression kasi it's global mm-hmm. no. yun yung first ano niya, characteristic Yung next is, this is a long-term thing. So, this can be two years, three years. And yung third feature niya is, yung long-term effects is also negative. Connected yung two and three. So, kung ano yung effect niya in the long term, um, it can be five years or more, or maybe less. Depending on how bad yung economic situation ng countries. No? So, I think right now, we can say, or maybe safely say, that we're in a somewhat global depression. Simply because we're in a health crisis, but this is something different, no? As what the article said, simply because this was triggered by a health crisis. Um, the examples, kasi pinakita niya was the 2008 mortgage crisis, no? And then the 20, no, sorry, 1929 to 1933 Great Depression. So both previous examples are financial crises, but this one is a health crisis, no? So, this means we're not saying na may um, paano ba? walang recovery. May recovery pa naman, but it's dependent kung how fast yung vaccine, yung cure, how fast the economic um, recovery will be. No? Depending on kasi per country. So, we cannot say um, or we cannot foresee. Wala naman tayo magic crystal ball to see what will happen in the future. So, uh-huh. what we can do now no, is to manage our own personal economies. No? Mm. And yung silver lining dito, since we, itong recession or depression is challenging um, present norms, there is a very big possibility that things will change and it will be for the better naman. No? I've been seeing and hearing articles and discussions na 
baka iiba din yung urban planning ng cities to make it more health resilient no mm-hmm. meaning kapag mag pandemic ulit mas resilient na tayo ibig hindi sabihin na ma- dikit. <laughs> uh, hindi na hindi na dikit dikit or parang may open spaces the way we move the way we interact could lessen infection at the same time it would help and solve yung economic crisis no so baka in the near future or maybe in the future if another pandemic strikes it may not be as bad as we are experiencing it right now mm-hmm. so para naman sa ano Adriel so <laughs> syempre yun yung general outlook ng ating uh, depression no na sabi nga eh uh, mararanasan or nararanasan na natin Uh, hmm. Para naman sa mga ano, sa mga nag-i-invest dyan, uh, let's say, simulan natin sa Philippine market, no? Um, would you say na depression na rin tayo dito or recession pa lang? Kasi may news, di ba, naka two quarters na tayo na negative uh, growth, no? Hmm. So they, it's under the definition ng recession, yung two quarters. So sa ngayon ba, um, kapag ako investor, mag invest ng pera, dapat ba akong kabahan? Your thoughts? I think, As a investor in the Philippine market, what you should be looking is more on the political side and what the government is doing to improve or help the economy. No? Uh, because these are signs for recovery after the pandemic or once the vaccine has been found. So as an investor, I'm not sure how would you see it because investors can be short-term, can be traders, and mm. can be... long term then but for long term investors in the philippines what's one or two years down so make sure lang na clear yung mga financial goals nyo um and eventually tataas din yan but we cannot say if tataas like full bull run it might be a swoosh na pop and down but mm-hmm. forward looking naman parati yung market so that's something to see Plus, in two years' time, may election. So that's another factor that has to be taken in. No? May Philippine so, elections in two yeah, years. Yeah, my, two years. yeah that's why. Right. May geopolitical situation tayo that has to be considered. So for those na parang medyo, let's say, foreign investors or maybe uh, investors na medyo nag-iisip pa, I would suggest lang to wait and see. Uh, wag, wag kayong, don't be hasty in putting in money. So, yun. so um so meron din kasi tayong tinatawag na yung alam mo yon kung medyo alangan ka sa Philippine economy you minimize the country risk by mm-hmm. investing in other countries so we go to the US economy naman no um of course meron tayong mga ways to uh, buy stocks sa uh, US stocks no like uh, eToro and so on Pero would you say na kung alangan ako sa Philippine economy because of the depression that's coming, can I go to the U.S. economy? Doon ako mag-invest? Um, regardless naman which economy you go to, um, it's really down. What matters more is which market you are comfortably investing in. It can be SG market, it can be the U.S. market, it can be Europe market, no? So it really depends on ano yung goals mo and ano ba yung mga target risk ay sorry target funds na gusto mo dahil may hurdle rate din tayo eh na gustong i achieve or like to break through so if the US market would help you break through that hurdle then I would say just go for it but again this depends on your unique situation no but you can always search and find other markets naman kaya nga we encourage our viewers and clients to do their due diligence aka research tayo <laughs> no research oh, okay uh, kung may, may pandemic man o wala La, always uh, do due research yeah. uh, yes and of course no kahit pandemic or wala make sure na may budget kayo may emergency fund because these safety nets can help you be resilient during a downturn yun man no oh. Marami oh, na tayo uh, na ano, nasabi. Oh, oh, tama, you know, may ka ba before we end the video? Mm, so parang ako lang kasi nag-uusap eh. <laughs> In interview. <laughs> oh, ikaw kasi si Mr. Economista. Ang oh. masasabi ko lang, uh, so um, it, yes, there we have an issue right now, a health issue, and this is the pandemic. So um, of course, um, whether there's a pandemic or not, it should not stop you from reaching your goals by investing your money because invest thing 
is a way for you to reach your goals faster. So sa ngayon lang, uh, tingnan natin, no? um, of course, the outlook of the stock markets so of Philippines and abroad is um, always positive. We want to always be positive kasi napakaraming uh, people involved behind the companies that share the, that have stocks, di ba? So be walang may, na, di ba? <laughs> correct. Oo, walang, walang may gusto na malugi tayo for the rest of our lives, di ba? So gagawa at gagawa ng paraan, ipipilit at ipipilit talaga na magkaroon ng vaccine. And um, sabi nga nila, we can have a stop and go economy pag mataas yung ano, ma rate, di ba? Yung may spike ng mga cases, pwedeng itigil. Tapos pahinga muna, tapos maya maya, i-start uli yung economy. Katulad ng naranasan natin dito sa Pilipinas. Mm-hmm. Sige. So I guess that's it now. So if you enjoyed this video and enjoyed our discussion, please give this a thumbs up. No? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And of course, hit that notification bell if you so that you won't miss a thing. And see you, Marion, and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye.